feeling stressed these days, aren't we all? But we're all in this together. And here on CTV Late Night News, we're stepping up, dedicating more content and conversation around the importance of keeping our mental health strong. Joining us live tonight with six coping strategies is founder of the Chopra Addiction and Wellness Center, Nirmala Raniga. Nirmala, thank you for being here for us tonight. We'll jump right in. Step one seems pretty simple, but it can actually be surprisingly hard to do. What can we do to achieve a better sleep? Well, one of the things is because our routines have been disrupted of, uh, you know, staying home, isolation, that we might find that we are not keeping to a routine. So it's important to go to bed and wake up at the same time and try and uh, not stay up and watch so much of the news. Uh, also, maybe in the room, creating that comfortable space, maybe using some lavender so that you do feel relaxed because most people can't sleep due to anxiety and stress, especially those who have been laid off. I mean, everybody right. has been impacted. Exactly. So step two, uh, meditation and mindfulness. Lots of folks have heard about it, never done it. Uh, now's the time. Give a simple example for us of meditation. Well, average human being, you know, has 60 to 80,000 thoughts. And when we are anxious, it goes up to about 120,000 thoughts. So one of the things could be a mantra meditation. It's very simple. It's reciting a mantra like Soham, or it could be a breathing exercise. It could be just a body relaxation. There's lots of techniques out there on the uh, online virtual world. There's lots of people who's got so much content. This is the time we are at home. We have the opportunity and it doesn't have to be long. It could be 10 minutes. It could be 15 minutes. Just showing okay. up for yourself because meditation and mindfulness really helps reduce that anxiety and it's, stress. It does. So breathing exercises, uh, you mentioned that. Let's give a quick example. Guide me through one quickly right here. So what I would uh, invite you to do is, Noma, is close your eyes just for a moment and take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, exhale through your mouth mm -hmm. and just breathe out any tension, stress, or impurities. Okay. And take another breath again through your nose, just a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. And one more breath in through your nose. And again, as you're breathing, you want to be... I can feel in my body. Huh. I can feel it actually calm down, even just those few ones that we did right there. Um, now, you mentioned also step four, um, continue to move. Obviously, people, um, they're not going to the gym, but you can move your body in many ways. And it's actually just the act of moving it that helps. Yes. And, you know, you we have, again, virtual uh, online stuff. You can do yoga at home. Mm -hmm. We don't have to, you know, uh, the studios are all closed. So doing some yoga at home, going out for a walk in nature, of course, we need to maintain that physical distance. Right. Going for a walk will, is great. And, you know, there's so many, um, the spring is, is around the, I mean, here, yeah. and we can enjoy the flowers. Just right. connecting in nature will reduce anxiety. Okay, so nutrition is step number five. I mean, this we know, um, you mentioned that uh, ginger and turmeric are really good things to add into your recipes, but I wanna get to step six, our final, uh, before we run out of time here. Remember to laugh. Why is laughter so good for our health, Nirmala? Well, laughter actually uh, boosts our immune system. You know, we are all going through a very painful time where there's so many people who are sick, so many dying. Yeah. You know, we have these emotions. We need to balance the emotions. On one level, we f uh, feel <laughs> p fear and pain. And, and we have, okay. there's people who are really literally crying because of losing of uh, losing of loved ones, but not that, uh, but also anger, not being able to pay your, our bills, laughter, the uncertainty. Laughter so is the, the best medicine, isn't it? It's the best medicine. That's right. And also Thanks. having gratitude, gratitude to those who are helping us at this time to get through this pandemic. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Check the link at the bottom Namaste. of our screen uh, for some guided meditation with Nirmala herself. Great uh, thing to start in your regular routine. Thank you so much. Thanks, Nirmala.